Um, hey everybody, this is BMX39 here, uh, for next gen update, bringing you a tutorial on how to hack and inject, because, because, um, last time it seems like many of us did not understand what to do, and we were confused about it. Now, first of all, I will start with the basics of host injection to get host. Now, some requirements for this, you will need Wireshark, you will need Colosoft Packet Builder to inject it, and uh, you will need an actual connection that can obtain host and keep it because what basically I'll explain it they're going to ping you to test it and if you just keep getting requests for it like when migration stuff happens you will just be injecting requests and that will just screw it up you won't actually probably get it unless the things are so laggy but okay first we're going to start by opening up Wireshark and uh, I already expect you have a bridge connection now this is the new Wireshark, and honestly, I think it's just really, really gay. And um, so you're basically gonna start a new capture, and depending where your bridge is, you're just gonna select which one. Like we'll just do. I don't know. That's probably not yourself. Local will be local, Ethernet, whatever. Now this is after you bridge capture filter. You're gonna probably want to do UDP only, just for the fact that. Is what we're looking for file we're not going to use any of that start should work now if you're bridged you should start getting something so basically just click around yeah see there we go we're getting packets now now please note these packets are fake they are indeed fake but this is just to show you the idea of what we're doing now these will all be UDP completely and the source will be um their connection, so their server, it will be the um, IW server, wherever it's hosted, and then the destination, this will be your IP. Now, if it's sending them, it'll be if if it's a send packet, like you're sending it to their server, like when you shoot, the source will be you, and the destination will be their server. As you can see, like here, that one's the, this one would be uh, sending, and this one down here we receive now we're gonna um capture stop we're gonna stop we got enough to give you an example so this one right here is being sent from mine this is like from my connection and this one is being received from the server now please note again these are fake but I'm just giving you an example now what we're gonna do is for host at least I'm gonna show you you're gonna look around once you find one that's from their server so we'll pick this one you're going to go down and you're going to look for something that's 3E. It'll have 3E and around here, like on line 20 or 30. Um, again, ComView might be a better choice, but this is just very basic. Once you find it, you'll find it. We'll make this fake, so we'll make that 3. Okay, that'll be 308. And uh, basically what you're going to do is then, once you've found it, now this the, the whole thing about this is trial and error. But first, let me explain how this works. Basically, what it is, the whole idea is that when you go to, when you first join a game, the matchmaking, even though it sucks, so this isn't proper, but when you go to join a game, the matchmaking server is going to send ping packets. So PNGs, they're going to send those to you to see if you're a reliable host, if you can even host or whatever. It's just going to send you with data then the data right after that so first your best bet is to find that and that can be different really depending on your console I think because that depends on the network um once you find that right after that you're gonna send you're gonna be send a request slash confirmation packet which is the one I'm talking about with the 3e data on like the second and third line which is what you're gonna be looking for but since this is fake I don't have because I don't have a wireless card hookup so like I only have a wireless version so I can't do that and basically what you're going to do is, um, you're going to find it. Now, uh, once you get that, you're going to modify it. The three, you just, like, nope it, like, all zeros. And then you're going to go into Colosoft and inject it. Now, it should be injected as a loop, but it should only be looped when it's finding host. So that means when the lobby, once you're in the lobby, once people start appearing, like, matched players, right after the players are no longer saying matched, like it's actual people stop you'll probably screw up then and then 
post migration that's awesome when you should do it hope that helps and uh, basically that's it so hope you guys like it